I mean, I think they're pivotal, pivotally important. You can definitely tell you it, it touches my personal life. I have family members who say, you know, wh why do you why do you travel half a world away and muck through mud up to your eyeballs to go try to find a lemur species that hasn't been seen in 20 years? Why do you care about that? Like, why why should I care about that? And so. I, you know, I often use this, this interconnected, you know, the world is interconnected and that, you know, my, my family in the Midwest, the air that they breathe isn't necessarily produced by the tree that's in their backyard. It could be produced by a tree in Madagascar, end up, you know, uh, in the jet stream and moved all the way around the world until you're pulling it into your lungs. And that tree can't grow unless the lemur eats the seeds poops the seeds so that it can germinate into the tree that produces the oxygen that I'm breathing today. And what is this extinction crisis exactly? Yeah, so the, the data clearly and unequivocally shows that we have entered the six mass extinctions. Um, we are now in a mass extinction in that we're losing um, hundreds of species every day, some of which we haven't even discovered yet. Um, that are dying due to specifically human pressures, human caused pressures, climate change, um, you know, habitat destruction is is probably the biggest thing. Human wildlife conflict 